I used AI to generate a video documentary on the life story of an ancestor in my family tree. And I'm going to show you how to do it. All you need is a family tree, free ChatGPT, and another free AI tool called Notebook LM. Look over my shoulder and follow my steps to get a fascinating video that interweaves a person's family tree life events with the historical events that shape their lives. Here are the four steps I'm going to walk you through. First, you'll pick a person in your family tree and export their life events as a PDF. I'll show you how to do that with a few clicks if your family tree is on Ancestry.com. If you've got family tree software, there'll be an export button somewhere on a person's profile page. Second step, I'll show you how to use free ChatGPT to find one or two online documents with timelines of major historic events during the lifespan of your person and the places that they lived. I'll give you the exact prompts you need. Third step, you'll use free Notebook LM, an AI tool from Google to import these documents. If you never used Notebook LM before, don't worry, it's got a simple interface and I'll be doing everything that you'll be doing. Final step is to steer or prompt Notebook LM into providing a video documentary on that person from your tree. I'll give you the prompt that took me several days to craft. Right, let's crack on and get into it. Step one is to create a document with the life events of your target person. I'm in my family tree on Ancestry. I'm going to generate a video for this particular entry in my tree, Mary Gamble. Click on our entry and you'll notice that she was born in Ireland and died in New York. I want to produce a PDF of her life events. So I'm going to go to her profile page and I land on her facts tab. And this is actually the tab I'm going to use. I initially had done this process using the life story page. I don't think it lists all the sources. I just found I had better results with using the facts page. And I want to produce a PDF of this. Pick Mary because she should be a good challenge for the AI. She lived a substantial part of her life in Ireland, then emigrated to the United States. I have an entry for her in the New York passenger list. And then she settled and married in New York, where she lived out the rest of her life, having multiple children. Now, I want to get more details into the timeline before I go ahead. Specifically, I want the locations of our children born, the addresses. So I'll go to expand this toggle here and I'll choose to include family events in the timeline. What comes in are both the birth details of her siblings. And if I scroll down, I now have the births of her children and it does include the location details of the births. So having included as much information as I want in her timeline, I now am going to export it or save it as a PDF. And Ancestry gives you a nice tool to do that. So up here, expand the tools menu, choose print. And here we get a page that we can save as a PDF by going up here to the top left, click print. And you can see that it's how many pages? It's two pages. Over here in the destination, if it isn't set to save as PDF, it's if it's set to something else, make sure that you set it to save as PDF and then click save. It'll name it as the name of the person. I'll just put in a bit more context. The file, I'll call it Mary Gamble Life Events. I'll save that. And that saves in the folder of my choosing on my local machine. Step two, find one or two historic sources. I want this video to put Mary's life events in the context of what was going on in the world around her. And that is two different parts of the world. So for a certain part of her timeline from 1889 birth to her emigration to the United States, which was in 1913, she was living in County Cavan in Ireland. And I want to find a single trustworthy document that provides a timeline of the major historical events of what was happening in Ireland in those years. I'm saying Ireland as opposed to Cavan because an Irish county is probably too small a region to find a single historical document that has a potted history of historical events by each year. But Ireland is a small country and events that affect the country will have an impact on Mary. And then she moves 
to New York in 1913, where it's in New York that she lives out her life. Now, the United States is a huge country. I'm going to look for a source on the internet that lists out the major historical events per year happening in New York, as opposed to the wider country. So I need to make a note, and I'll just pull up Notepad and jot down the dates that I'm interested in. So I could go to Google and do the searching for these historical documents myself. I'm going to use a free AI tool, ChatGBT, to do this. So I'm going to open up ChatGBT. I'm on the free version and I am going to go into a temporary session so it doesn't remember what I've done before. You don't have to, but this is just so that it's doing it fresh, like you'll be doing it. I am now going to put in prompt, and my prompt is pretty specific. It took me several goes to fine-tune the prompt. I'm going to just type it in. I have the prompts available for download. There'll be a link in the description below where you can go and get the multiple prompts that I have for this task. Please provide single online articles, not one page per year, that provide a continuous year-by-year -year timeline of historical events in, substitute in your own region, Ireland, for me, between and substitute in your own dates. For me, 1889 to 1913. You might be wondering what's this about where I'm saying don't provide one page per year. My first prompt was a lot simpler, but it was giving me a single historical article per year. Again, from practice, I'm going to provide it with more instructions. The timeline should have a brief entry for most years with very few years omitted. The articles must be freely accessible online with no paywalls. Provide links to the best available resources and describe how well each fits my request. So this is where I'm asking the ChatGPT to rate the article, particularly with how well each year is represented. So that is my first prompt. I will submit this. Here we go. I did speed that up a lot. So let's see what it's got. So it gave me five links and I clicked into all of them. It's top recommended option, which is Wikipedia. There were too many missing years. The second option from something called the Conflict Archive was solely focused on conflict, so it was a bit too narrow in scope. The fourth option was only covering 1912 and 1913, despite my instructions. And the fifth option was similarly only focused on a handful of years. But the third option, so I'll just click this link. I think it's great. It starts at 2 million BC, which is a little bit of overkill. But if I scroll down, there's a few gaps here and there, but not that many. This is just what I want. If you also need something on Irish history, I'll put a link to this article in the prompt pack. I'm now going to go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to provide my second prompt. And to do that, I'm going to copy the first prompt and change the region and the dates. So I'll just copy that, paste it here. And now I want to change Ireland to New York and it, the from date will be 1913 and then the to date is the year of her death which is 1946. I will submit that. Uh -huh. Interesting. Do I want New York City and New York State? I want New York City. I will clarify New York City. And then do I want general political, social, cultural events or a specific focus, e.g. politics, economy, arts? Well, if this particular person was in politics, like a council member, I might ask for that focus or if they were an artist, I might ask for a focus on arts. But I want general political, social, cultural events. Now, it didn't ask me this before in my previous practice runs and I will change the prompt that will be available for download to include the focus on general political, social, cultural events. I'll hit submit. It thought for 51 seconds. Again, I jumped into each of the links that it gave me. And this time, its top recommendation of Wikipedia is my preferred choice as a single source. OK, now I've got my sources. And now it's time to produce the video. If you're familiar with Notebook LM, then you can skip this intro and go to the next section. First step is to go to Notebook LM. Let's just stick Notebook LM into Google here and I'll go to the main page. So I'll click on this main page and then I'll click on Try Notebook LM. You just need a Google account for the free version. So you come to this page here. What you want to do is you want to create a new notebook. So I'll just use this button up the top here, this Create New button. The first thing you see, it does pop up this add sources. I'm going to just close this. We will come back to this page, but I'm going to close it and give you a bit of an overview. With Notebook LM, you get 
three panel page. Over here on the left will be your sources, uploaded PDFs, documents, links to websites. Here, I'm not going to do anything here with this middle pane. And this is basically the chat. I'm going to ignore it completely for this exercise. And over here on the right is once you've uploaded your sources, you do the interesting stuff over here. You'll be creating an explainer video and there's a few other things you can do as well. So now we've got the lay of the land. The first thing we want to do is upload our sources. And over here on the left pane, I am going to click the add button. And the first source I'm going to upload is that saved timeline from Ancestry. This is where I saved it. Choose that, click open and it pulls it in and it will give you a summary here of what's in the document. And now I want to add the historical sources. So again, I go back to add, but this time I'm giving links. So click on the website here and I just paste the URLs. First one is this Irish history timeline that goes here. And then the second one I decided what was it? The timeline of New York City, the Wikipedia page was the best. So those two sources, I click insert and it is now importing those. So now I have my primary source and what I want effectively to be my secondary sources. I'm going to generate the video, but I want to do a bit of explanation to Notebook LM as to what emphasis I want in terms of the content it produces. So instead of just clicking here, it will just go and without any further instructions, generate a video. And I find if you don't give it further instructions, it does focus a bit too much on the historical events and not as much as I want on the actual person. Click on this little pencil icon and you get the option to customize the video. And it's giving you a few hints here. I have in my prompt pack, if I scroll down, I have the prompt that I'm going to use. I'll type it in. It's not too long. So first of all, I'm going to tell it that the presenter isn't a historian, but is an expert genealogist. I just want to get over to it that I'm, what I'm interested in is primarily the genealogy side of things. I will tell it to focus on the source and I'm going to name it Mary Gamble Life Events PDF as the main topic of the video. This is a timeline of the life events of a person taken from a family tree. Use the other sources for historical context of events that happen during her lifetime. Now I'm going to give it a steer towards the audience for the video. The audience is me. <laughs> so the audience are hobby genealogists who have Mary Gamble in their family tree and are interested in learning about her. Now, one more thing, again, optional, but I found that pronunciation of a particular place name, it would provide three different pronunciations. And that was for Cavan, which is the county in which Mary spent the first part of her life. And at times the presenter would say Cavan, at times would say Cavan, and at times would get it right. Similarly, if there is a name Another person I worked on was Anne Gillis, but the name is written as, or spelt as G-I-L-L-I-C-E. So it kept on saying Galice and then sometimes Gillick or Galice. In this case, it shouldn't have a problem with Mary Gamble, but I want to direct it as to how to pronounce Cavan. So back into ChatGPT and I am going to ask ChatGPT to give me the instructions as how it can tell another AI to pronounce a word. I want to provide an AI with the correct pronunciation of Cavan. This is a county in Ireland. Similarly, if you've got a hard to pronounce place name, give ChatGPT some context as to where it is, or if it's a surname, tell it that it's a surname. It'll figure it out. What instructions should I give it? And you'll see with the output of this as to why I'm actually asking ChatGPT for instructions. If I hit submit. So I'm just going to copy this. That's all I want. So add a line here. Okay. So that's my prompt. I will click generate. And over here, it'll say this may take a while and it will. It will take 20 to 30 minutes to produce the video. If you click out of this, if you close down your browser, it'll keep generating, right? You don't have to stick here watching this little icon spinning. 
come back and you will have a video. Here is mine finished. I now have a play icon. I also have a few options here, including I can download it. You can play it in the browser. Click play here. It has this tiny little window, but you can go full screen. So my video is six minutes, 44 seconds. That tends to be around the usual length of a video. There is another way of using Notebook LM to get a 40 minute deep dive into the historical context in an audio podcast format. If you're interested, drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. But let's just focus now on this more short form video. I'll give you a taster of what it's like. You know, as genealogists, we often start with just a name and maybe a couple of dates on a chart. The last time I did this, it was a female voice. So the name we're focusing on today is Mary Gamble. Okay, so let's start at the very beginning. We see she was born in a place called Creaney to her parents, William and Catherine. Just beyond their family farm, the entire country was like a pressure cooker, and this feeling of change was everywhere. June 9, 1913, Mary Gamble, just 23 years old, steps off a ship and onto the docks of New York Harbor. I leave it there because you'll be more interested in your own ancestors. Yes, it's a slideshow. No animations, no moving graphics. But when it's so personal to your own family history, it's pretty amazing. I'm still exploring Notebook LM. I have other tutorials on doing some great stuff with genealogy with it. Like this video if it was useful. And I'd be really interested, once you've had a go at this, it would be great if you could come back and leave a comment. Tell me how you got on.